Hi everyone, and welcome to Bluebeam Review. I'm Ariel with Digital Drafting Systems, and today we're going to be discussing Studio Projects and Sessions. You can find Bluebeam Studio by clicking this icon right here on the left. And Studio is comprised of two major components, Projects and Sessions. Before we get into that, let's log in. So you can click on this drop-down and see if you're logged in already. I am, but if you aren't logged in, you can use your same email that you use to access the Bluebeam website and create a password. You'll know if you're online if this icon here on the right has a green icon, green color similar to mine, and if the power plugs are physically connected. If your icon has a red dot and the power plugs are not connected, then you know that you're offline. Once you're online, you can go to Projects, which is this first tab here, and you can either create a new project by clicking this plus button or join an existing one. To join a project, you can use the nine digit identification code right next to the project that your project host can provide to you, or you can be invited via email. So I've already made Project Uno. Let's jump into it. Here we can see the project window where I've uploaded two files to this project. I'm going to double click on this file and let's view it in split screen while we have our project window on the left. Now at first you'll think, oh, I'm not able to delete this markup. And if you go to Tools and Markup, all of our markups are grayed out. And it seems like Review is now functioning in viewer mode and not in markups mode. And it seems like maybe your license isn't working. But this is Studio Projects and that's not the case. All this means is that this file is locked and available for checkout. So there's a lock icon next to the file. I can right click it and click on Checkout. Now you'll see that the file is updated, the icon next to the file has changed, and now I'm able to delete any of the markups that I made in the file. I can't delete anybody else's markup, of course, and I can place new markups. Let's make an orange check this time. And when I'm ready, I have two options. I can update my server copy and continue working, or I can check in my file. You can put in a comment, which is very useful for revisions. For example, we can call this revision one. And now our file has been uploaded and it can be accessed by anybody else that's been invited to the project. My colleague Jim has been invited to this project and I can see his information by going to project settings. And under general, we can see the project name, the project ID, and we can see user access. Jim has been added to the project. We can also see the attendees permissions. He is part of the attendee group. He's allowed to send inv invitations, send PDFs to sessions, and share file links, but he not, does not have full control over the project. Studio Projects allows access to, to one person per file, so only one person can check in and out of a project. So right now that I've checked in my project, Jim could check it out and he can start working on those files. Let's look at Studio Sessions. You can click on this button to access Studio Sessions, and Studio Sessions is a bit different from Projects. Let's go into this existing project, Project DOS. Before we move into it, let's X out of our previous project, Project UNO. And here, Project DOS now has some information that we can see here on the left side. We can see our attendees, our nine-digit confirmation code right here, our identification code. We can also leave this session and we can finish it. The difference is that if I leave a session, the attendees can still become part of it. Although if I'm the host, the attendees will, will um, maintain control. If I finish the session, then all attendees will also be automatically uh, removed from the session. We can see our documents that are part of the project. I've added the same two documents to this project as I did to the other one. So let's double click on this one once again. And in real time, I can now make markups and my colleague can see them. So I'm now going to make a typewriter markup and my colleague can also create markups and nearly instantly, based on my internet speed, I can see those markups. So now I've used typed a simple hi Jim markup. That should appear on his screen and soon we'll be seeing some markups from Jim, my colleague. While he makes his markup, the record list here on the bottom left shows all of the different actions that were made for this project. For example, when I created the project, when I added PDFs to it, and when either Jim or I made deletions or additions in terms of markups. So recently, we were doing some experiments and we added many, many markups and we deleted them. There we go, Jim's comment just came up. I totally agree, Jim. We do need to make these two sheets into one. He's using the callout and the text box tool 
to communicate to me. So this is a very, very powerful tool that allows people to collaborate in real time. And this is what Sessions is all about. So more than one person can access this file at the same time, and we can make markups on the fly. When we're ready, we can actually take our record of all of the different pro um, actions that were made on this project. Similar to a markup summary, we can actually make a report. We can do a record summary or make a PDF package report. And the record summary is basically just a single PDF that has the entire record of everything that we did in the project. The PDF package report contains that record summary and it allows you to add other files into the project. These files can then be categorized. For example, I can add files from Excel or from any other native CAD program that I have and those files can be categorized and when I double click on them through the PDF package, those files will open automatically in their respective program. There's a lot of information we can change here. And in this case, let's make a simple record summary, including all of this info. Our page size can be changed. Let's have it portrait orientation instead of landscape, which is default. Let's click OK. This is making a new file now. We can save it. Let's replace the existing one. And here is our record summary. So we can see a very detailed list of all the actions that were made. So Bluebeam Sessions allows for a lot of accountability to be managed. It's very, very important to see who did what and when so that you can see uh, assign responsibilities to those people. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. To see more videos about Bluebeam Review, please visit our website at ddscad.com. We hope you have a great day.